Hey what is up guys, Rensdax TV here. Another video for you today guys. This is for the attempt to fix the uh, notification issues on your Huawei devices. And please take note that this is for a um, device that has already uh, installed GSF on it or Google services, okay? So as you can see here on my screen, the uh, register for push notifications is not working so let me just retry that so you would see and there you go all right and of course to let you see that I have here Google installed so there you go guys that's working fine and in this case, um, it's sort of, you know, just to experiment, okay? So there's no guarantee that this would work on your end. Um, I have uh, tried this a couple of times. Sometimes the notifica notifications uh, come out and show on the screen. Sometimes it's not, so... But, you know, the only thing that we are going to address here that I'm sure of is this part where it says register for push notifications using this push notification tester app so let's see all right so first things first um, gonna need to make sure that our phone is set up correctly so we won't have any issues with running uh, you know some other uh, tool that we will be showing you later here on my screen so make sure on your settings to uh, check HDB all right make sure this one here is uh, turned on all right and once that's okay um, uh, you also have to activate the uh, develop developers mode for this uh, device that you're using uh, the one that you're using on your end as well so if you have not activated that before just go to about phone and then tap the build number a couple of times so it shows here on my end that I am already a developer on your end it will show you how many uh, steps you should tap on it until it shows that it has successfully been turned on and then to access that later on just go to system and updates and you see there's another option that would be added here that says uh, developer options all right and from here just scroll down a bit and look for USB debugging like here so just turn it on and you're good to go all right and as well as the uh, multi tool that we'll be using here so just go to the uh, MT team website and make sure it's in English if you want that uh, language there and then scroll down here under the download section and download the app or the software and after that just install it you know normally and then should be good to go and uh, it should show like this afterwards once everything is done correctly it should uh, say that uh, I mean it should show your device um, model here in my case this is the mate 30 pro and all the things listed here if it's blank here even if it says connected just click on update or if it doesn't work make sure to uh, unplug your uh, phone from the uh, connector to your PC okay and then replug it and then make sure it reads the uh, model here then try to update again this uh, part and then until it shows the information so we would know that it's already connected all right 
but don't do anything else in here yet okay just make sure to just do whatever I am I'm sh I'll be showing you later so all right now on our phone I'll be also linking a file that we will be needing here so we're gonna need to have this file called GSF hack okay so once you have that already downloaded let's say just extract it like what I'm doing here and just install it as normally so let me install that it's installing now okay that's done all right and as you can see there's another icon here that will show the uh, Google service um, framework so just let it stay that way and then you can just hide it later on okay but do not uninstall it so that's very important not to uninstall that one okay so once everything is good we can now proceed to use our multi-tool and here guys we just need to go under the uh, modifications tab okay so it is very important guys that you just follow what I'm doing here right now so it won't mess up any of your phone and again uh, this video guys is intended for educational purposes only so so you know just make sure you, you do whatever I'm uh, showing you right now so you won't have any problems in there and you know um, here we're just gonna be using this part that says disabling enabling system applications without rooting okay so just make sure to check on show system and click on the show button here all right now after that's done um, look for the Google GSF item here this one okay all right so make sure it shows exactly as this all right before clicking on anything that I'm be um, showing you right now to click all right now once everything is done and everything looks exactly like this click on this table and you would get this confirmation that it is already disabled just click OK all right so now to check on it go back to your phone go to settings apps apps and then search for Google and make sure to also show the system processes then look for the uh, Google services framework the one that has the higher uh, KB file size um, I mean the smaller one instead just KB instead of MB so click on it and as you can see it, it now has this option to enable but don't enable it okay we're just checking if it was successfully done to your phone as well all right so now that it's done let's go ahead and run again our push notifications uh, tester Hold on. I may need to um, restart my phone, so let me do that really quick. Okay. So I'm restarting my phone right now, guys. So just give me a, a couple of seconds here. So we can now close the uh, multi-tool software as well since we have already done the uh, process using that tool so we won't be using that anymore. So it's 
now. Moving up. that or is it still saying okay I see all right there you go so give me a second here to fix this really quick now all right I hope you can see this now guys okay so we are going to check on it again so as you can see now um, register for push notifications is now chat right it's now working so let me request for a notification as well and there you go so um, as you can see guys even if the uh, GSF has been disabled and since we have this um, GSF hack that I um, included and installed here we should still be able to open Play Store all right The apps are still working here though so you know it, it shouldn't be affected um, Play Store worked when I tried to you know do this previously but I'm not sure why it's not doing this right now so let me just Okay, notification still working. That's good. However, uh, for some reasons, place there is no longer working though. So, anyways, guys, um, I'll try to check more on this one and see um, what are the factors that affects why this is not working for some reasons. And again, in my previous test it worked fine so now that I am recording this and of course I I really wanted to make sure that you know this is as 
realistic as possible so I won't cut um, any of this uh, portion and you know I, I wanted for you guys to uh, you know see exactly what will happen and again since I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video that uh, this is sort of like an experiment um, you know thing that we're doing right here so uh, pretty much it's totally up to you if you would like to try this in your end or not and again there's no um, guarantee that this would work 100% although you know it addresses the uh, push notification uh, tester issue as I've shown you um, the, the push notification registration is now working and is able to receive no notification like as you can see there all right so uh, pretty much um, I will check more of these guys and uh, will update you soon hopefully okay so I'm, I'm not um, you know giving you any uh, false hope or something like that but again we're here to you know share um, good things about um, you know any development on anything that we can uh, do to fix what's needed to get fixed here in our Huawei um, GSF or Google services thing so pretty much that's it for this video really and I'm so sorry guys for being inactive for quite a while right now because unfortunately we got hit with a COVID thing so you know we have to uh, undergo um, cert certain protocol and all that the quarantine thing and all that so anyway um, I I would do my best definitely to uh, upload uh, more videos um, more frequently and see you know where this goes and hopefully guys you still would support me um, I'll include I mean I, I have all the information in my uh, in every description of my videos actually with my um, FB page my IG and I'm on patreon right now as well so if you would like to support me guys so you know who knows um, this would probably or if there's a possibility that this would be like um, going to be like a full-time thing for me so I could you know focus on it but right now guys you know um, YouTube is well I'll be honest with you guys and be trans transparent with you so I'm not really getting a lot from YouTube and it's not really enough so you have to really look for different things that I should be doing in order for me to you know um, provide to my own family and all that so you know what I mean anyways thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll post any up updates with regard to this soon as of course as soon as if I'll be able to uh, uh, discover anything that is um, related to this and uh, of course thank you again for the support and see you on my next videos peace bye for now hello my friends Renz Dice TV here and if you like my video please smash that like button share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for your help here's how you do it boom bada bim bada boom and if you are on your phone here's how you do it boom bada bim bada boom thank you and see ya in my next videos peace